Have you ever wondered what would happen if technology could make AI smarter while using way less power? Well, that's exactly what Microsoft just did. They've introduced a new artificial intelligence model called BitNet, and it's turning heads in the tech world. At first glance, its name might sound like a Wi-Fi password, but the way it works is pretty amazing. Now, BitNet takes a different approach. Instead of using big jars, it uses tiny, color-coded poker chips. These chips come in three colors, red, white, and blue. Each color represents a number. Red is for negative 1, white is for 0, and blue is for positive 1. Because there are only three types of chips, they weigh almost nothing, which makes everything faster and more efficient. With these lighter chips, the whole warehouse shrinks down dramatically. Instead of needing gigabytes of space, BitNet only needs the space of a small mobile game download. This makes it so much easier to run the model on a regular computer without needing any special, powerful hardware. It's like replacing heavy books with tiny cards. Suddenly, the job becomes a lot easier. But there's more. Inside BitNet, there's a little worker called the ABS Mean Quantizer. This worker decides which chip fits in each spot, doing its job while the model is running. This live decision-making process ensures that everything runs smoothly, and when the messages need to move around between the shelves, they get squeezed down into little Lego-like blocks, making it faster for everything to communicate. To keep everything running perfectly, the designers added a special layer of balance powder. This balance powder is a fancy term for a technology called sublayer normalization. It helps smooth out any rough edges and keeps everything in harmony. And instead of using complex functions to handle the math, BitNet uses a simpler function that's easier to work with. Simplicity works best when dealing with such tiny chips, and this is how they ensure that the model stays stable and efficient. Normally, AI models use something called weights to make decisions. These weights are like the tiny numbers the AI uses to figure out the best answer. But most AI models use large numbers, like 32-bit or 16-bit values, which need a lot of space and power. But BitNet is different. It uses weights that are only 1, 0, or plus 1. Think about it like a light switch with just two settings, off, on, and a middle setting. It's simple, but effective. This clever trick means that BitNet can store a lot of information without taking up much space. In fact, it only uses about 1.58 bits of information for each weight. It's like squeezing all the details into a much smaller package, which is why it can run on normal computers and still work fast. Another key trick BitNet uses is the idea of tokenizers. Now, what's a tokenizer? Well, think of it like a dictionary. When AI models read text, they need to understand what each word means. Instead of starting from scratch with a brand new dictionary, BitNet borrows Llama 3's tokenizer. This gives the model a head start because it doesn't have to learn every single word from the beginning. It already knows a lot of the important words, which helps it process language faster. And how does BitNet actually learn all this? It's trained in three rounds, kind of like how you'd teach a child to read and write. First, the child reads all the books in the library really fast, just scanning through them. That's the pre-training stage with a high learning rate. Then, you slow them down so they can start paying attention to details. This is the cooldown period, where BitNet starts to pick up the finer points of language. Finally, you give them practice exams so they can perfect their skills. This is the fine-tuning stage where the model learns how to answer questions better and more efficiently. But there's something else that makes BitNet stand out. The tiny chips it uses don't break or explode when the model makes changes. This allows the designers to push the lessons further, making BitNet smarter without worrying about losing any information. And the result is an AI that's incredibly fast and efficient, without needing a ton of power or space. Once the training is done, BitNet gets a bit of extra help to make sure it works well on regular computers. Microsoft wrote special software that bundles the four chips together into a single byte. This byte is then sent across the GPU highway, unpacked, and multiplied with the 8-bit Lego blocks to do the math. This trick allows BitNet to read about 5 to 7 words per second on a regular CPU, which is pretty close to the speed at which a human reads. Even better, if you don't have a graphics card, BitNet can still run on a regular desktop or even a Mac. You only need about 400 millibobries of memory, which means even an Ultrabook can handle this AI model. The small memory footprint is a game changer because it opens up AI to people who wouldn't normally have access to super-powered computers. So, how does this compare to other models? Most small AI models need 2 to 5 GB of memory to work, and they score somewhere in the 50s on various benchmarks. But BitNet only needs 4 GB of memory and scores above 60. 
That's a huge leap in efficiency, and it's why BitNet is getting so much attention. Even larger models that have been shrunk down to fit into small memory can't keep up because they still need more space and lose a few points in accuracy. Let's put it simply, BitNet is like an overachiever who does more with less. It packs more brain power into every byte of data and every watt of energy. It's proof that AI can be smart and efficient without needing massive data centers and super expensive hardware. But here's the catch, Microsoft isn't done yet. They're still working on improving BitNet. They want to see how well it scales to 7 and 13 billion parameters and beyond. They're also asking hardware designers to build special chips that can handle the tiny ternary values more efficiently. Right now, BitNet works great, but there's always room for improvement. Plus, the team is planning to extend BitNet to work with multiple languages and longer documents, which could make it even more useful. And here's something exciting. BitNet is available right now. You can download its packed weights from Hugging Face in three formats. One that's ready for inference, one for anyone interested in retraining, and one for BitNet CPP. There's even a web demo if you just want to play around with it and see how it works. In the world of AI, big models like GPT-3 and GPT-4 get all the attention because they're massive and powerful. But BitNet is a reminder that sometimes, smaller can be better. If you can fit a powerful AI model into a small space and run it on everyday devices, you can do some pretty cool things. Imagine using AI in smart devices, like phones, laptops, or even edge devices, without worrying about battery life or the cost of running a data center. That's the future BitNet is hinting at. And that's not all. Once the hardware catches up and we can handle longer context lengths, we might see an explosion of new AI applications that use this smaller, more efficient model. It could lead to a whole new generation of devices that are powered by smart AI, all thanks to BitNet. And that's a wrap on BitNet, the AI that's changing the game with efficiency and speed. If you learned something new today, make sure to hit that like button and share this with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe for more exciting tech updates and breakthroughs. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.